Atmosphere is best played at night. Dim the lights and design your own eerie environment. Turn up the volume. The 5.1 surround soundtrack will create the ultimate atmosphere. Set up the board in front of the TV and DVD player so all players have a clear view of the screen. Place the keys on the board in their corresponding colored realms. Place the black key on the black key space. Shuffle and place the time and fate cards beside the board. Write your worst fears on slips of paper and place them folded in the Well of Fears. Then choose a playing piece and character card. Place your pieces on their headstones. Players must be randomly given a number, so hand out the numbered key racks without looking. Everyone now has a character and a number, and you are ready to play the game. Choose Play from the main menu. This will summon the Gatekeeper. When he asks who is playing, use the DVD remote control to tell him which characters are in the game. He will then elect the Chosen One to act as his eyes and ears. Once the game and the countdown have begun, you must not press stop or pause. The object of Atmosphere is to win the game before 49 minutes expires. To do this, you must collect at least one colored key from each of the six realms, then race to the Well of Fears in the center, where you must face your greatest fear. Then let the gatekeeper know the good news by pressing the menu or title button on your remote. But if the countdown reaches zero, the gatekeeper wins and you lose. Starting from your own headstone, roll the dice and move clockwise around the board. You can choose to roll one or two dice each time. Whenever the gatekeeper appears, you must stop, listen, and do exactly what he says. Failure to do so could result in punishment. When you land on a space marked with a key, you may take a key from that realm. If the gatekeeper tells you to take a key, you must take it from the realm you are in, unless instructed otherwise. Place the keys in your rack facing towards you and hide the colors from opponents. If you land on the black key, you must pick it up. This key is cursed. As long as you have it, you cannot win the game, even if you have one key of each color. To be rid of the black key, you can try to lose it in a duel, or pass it on to another player when your pieces both occupy the same space. If you land on your own headstone, you may roll the die. If you roll your own number, you can take a key from your realm. If another player lands on your headstone, you may also roll the die. If you roll their number, you can take a key from that player. When you land on a duel space, you can call a duel with another player. Roll one die each, and the highest number takes a key from the loser. You must have at least one key before you can duel. Landing on a flight space lets you move immediately to any other flight space on the board. If you land on a black hole, or a banished one by the gatekeeper, you are temporarily out of the game. You can be freed from the black hole in the following ways. The gatekeeper releases you. You have a fate or time card that releases you. Each time your turn comes around, try to roll your own number to be released. If you have the key from your own realm, you are released. In each of these cases, you must still move to the nearest black hole and wait for your next turn before being released. 
When you land on a skull, pick up a fate card, follow the instructions immediately, then return the card to the bottom of the pack. When you land on a clock, pick up a time card. The time on the card relates to the time on the screen. If the time has expired, the card can no longer be used. You can travel on the inner track anytime as a shortcut. But if the gatekeeper catches you there without six keys, watch out. As soon as you have at least one key of each color, head for the Well of Fears. You can travel in both directions on the inner ring only. You do not need to roll an exact number to arrive at the Well of Fears. But once you are there, you must wait till your next turn before the well can be opened. The Chosen One will take out a fear and read it aloud. If it is not your fear, you must return to your headstone and try again. If it is your fear, press menu or title to stop the timer and you are the winner. Do not press the stop button. Now, turn the lights down and the volume up and experience atmosphere. At last, a new bunch of suckers! <laughs> you don't know how boring it gets on the other side. Do you have any idea how dull the undead are? Uh, what am I saying? Of course you do. Look at you! <laughs> Let me see which losers are going to take me on. And Chantrain, the witch. Baron Samadhi, the zombie. Elizabeth Bathory. The Vampire! Gavordan! The Werewolf! Helen! The Poltergeist! Khufu! The Mummy! Very well! You've brought me here, so you will play by my rules. When I call on you, you will answer, Yes, my gatekeeper! I assume you all have a number, or are you too stupid to even get that far? Who has the lowest number? Answer! If you didn't answer, Yes, my gatekeeper, you can miss a turn. Next time, pay attention, idiot! Each of you will now take a turn to roll the dice. Any time, flesh pods. Just because I'm immortal, they think I've got all day. Time's up! Anyone not get a turn? 
Next time. Cut the yak at the yak. Now, who rode the highest number? Answer. You will be my chosen one. So, you are my chosen one. Maybe that should be chosen worm, huh? It's so hard to get good help. Someone leaving would have been good, but eh, what can you do? All right, chosen one, you will carry out my instructions on the rest of these worms when I tell you to. As for the rest of you weasels, listen up! The chosen one will be my eyes and ears when I'm away doing other more interesting things, like getting my teeth drilled. The Chosen One also has the power to punish anyone they catch cheating. So, you'd all better hope it is as dumb as it looks, or you're in big trouble. Now, let's play the game. Chosen One, roll the dice, and let the losing begin. Whose turn is it? Answer! If you fail to answer yes, my gatekeeper, you must roll six to play again. Next time, it will cost you an organ. Don't worry. It'll be something you don't use much, like your brain. Everyone will take a turn to roll the dice. The lowest number takes a key from the realm they're in. Time for the most pathetic one to get a break.
Anyone in the black hole? Get out right now! You're giving the place a bad name! Who has been branded with the lowest number? Answer! What do you know? The one with the lowest IQ as well. <laughs> roll one die twice. If you roll your number twice, take a key. I want to play with Gavorden. Here, Wolfie. Here, boy. Answer. Your lucky number is 56. Pick up the dice and try to roll this number before I return. I'm just going somewhere more interesting. Which, let's face it, is anywhere but here. Have as many turns as you like to reach 56, but if you go too far, you must start over again. Back. Did you manage to roll your number, or were you a failure yet again? If you succeeded, everyone is released from the black hole. If not, you are banished there yourself! Turn, is it? Answer! I want you to tell us all your middle name. Come on, we won't laugh. Tell us. <laughs> Say what? You're kidding me, right? What a stupid name. No wonder you never get any dates. <laughs> <laughs> Roll one die. What number did you roll? There are 26 letters in the alphabet. I know that's news to you, but there are. And you've rolled one of the first six. What letter would that be? Well... Okay. If that letter is in your middle name, you will miss a turn. If it is not, take a fate card. What a dumb.
Everybody out of the black hole. I'm having it cleaned because of you, you filthy animals. Chosen one, answer! Which maggot is winning? Is that so? I am not surprised. I spotted you as a cheat from the beginning. How else does a loser like you get in the lead? You should be ashamed, cheating these other maggots. Return a key immediately, and let this be a lesson. The lesson is, you are all maggots. Whose turn is it? Answer! It's time to travel to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but also of mind. That's the signpost up ahead. Your next stop? The Loser Zone! Choose one of these doors to discover your fate. You have chosen the territory of Anne de Chantrain. If this is your territory, you can take a key from the realm you're in. If not, you're banished for trespassing. I release all losers in the black hole, so you can all play a game. In casinos, they call it craps. But then, in a casino, they'd call you sir or madam instead of maggot. So, what do they know? 
Everybody will now take both dice and roll them. If you can roll seven, you may take a key. If not, you crap out, maggots! Those of you with even numbers, roll one die. If you roll your number, you can take a key from the realm you're in. <laughs> Is it? Answer! Which of these other cockroaches would you like to banish? Hmm? The one who is winning? The one that's most annoying? Maybe the one next to you with the terrible smell? I can't choose which of them is worse. But you pick whichever one you like, and they're banished! Great way to make new friends, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Call on the Chosen One. Answer! You must leave the room now. Not just because you smell bad, but also because we're going to play a game. Go on, get out, quickly! Do us all a big favor! What an idiot that one is. I wanted a chosen one that would be useful. I could have trained a dung beetle to be more help. <laughs> now, pay attention. The maggot on the chosen one's left will roll one die, but keep the number silent. All right, chosen one, you can return. And hurry up, stop wasting our time. We've finished discussing how much we dislike you. Now, you must guess the number that was rolled while you were out. Guess right, and you take a key from the realm you're in. Guess wrong, and you are banished. Either way, we all feel better for having talked about what a maggot you are behind your back. <laughs>
Stop! Any maggot in the black hole is released. Come on out where I can see you. After all, if I can't see you, how can I torture you properly? Now, any clown on a fate space will roll the dice and go backwards that many spaces. Don't blame me. Blame fate. Stop! Whose turn is it? Answer! This is your chance to get the color key you want. Not that it will get you any closer to winning, but hey, it kills the time. Select a key. Maybe it will be magic. Maybe it will be fatal. I can only hope. Now, choose. You have chosen the wrong key, just like I knew you would. <laughs> so you get nothing, nada, zip, not even a punishment. Just some time to reflect on what a loser you are. I release you from the black hole. Now you're free to lose again. Any scum on a flight space must fly to the nearest headstone. I guess that flight's now redirected. <laughs>
Scott! Chosen one! Show me who is winning! Good. Now, make them give a key to the loser with the least keys. I hate winners. I hate losers, too. In fact, I hate all of you. Turn, is it? Answer! Roll a one, and take one key from anywhere on the board. If there are none left, then you get the same as your personality. Big Fat Zero! Everybody in the black hole is released. Everyone will now take turns to roll both dice. The lowest number will take a fate card and read it out loud. The rest of you have to listen to them drawn on and on and on. Stop! Whose turn is it? Answer! You can take one key from the maggot of your choice just because you don't like them. It's only fair since none of them like you. Any cheat with six or more keys must miss that many turns. Nobody likes a show-off. Actually, let me clarify that. Nobody likes you, but especially when you show off.
Anyone in the black hole? Yes, losers. That means you're now free. Idiots! Is it? Answer! You're cursed. Take the black key. You deserve it. Is it? Answer! Roll one die. Now! What is the number? If it is the number of another opponent, they can take a key from the realm they're in. You get nothing, though, because you are a puny worm! <laughs>
Verboten! Roll both dice. Even number, you are banished. Odd number, take a key. Either way, you're still ugly. Helen! Roll the dice. Odd number, you are banished. Even number, take a key. Either way, you're still going to lose. <laughs> Baron Samadhi, roll both dice. Even number, you are banished. Odd number, take a key. Either way, you still smell bad. <laughs> and the Shontrain, roll the dice. Odd number, you are banished. Even number, take a key. Either way, you still look ridiculous. Kufu! Roll the dice! Odd number, you are banished. Even number, take a key. Either way, you're still a worthless sack of skin. Elizabeth Bathory! Roll both dice! Even number, you are banished! Odd number, take a key! Either way, you're still an old bat. Everyone will roll one die. The first loser to roll a three can take a key from the realm they're in. Anybody in the black hole is released. Try not to be so stupid again.
Whose turn is it? Answer! How many keys do you have? Ha! <laughs> Pathetic! I'll bet you can't roll your number to double that amount. You're too stupid. Now, roll! If you somehow manage to roll your number, you can take as many keys as you have from anywhere on the board. If not, you are banished! Everybody will now play the rest of the game anti-clockwise. Your pieces will move in the other direction, like your luck. <laughs> Bunch of losers you are! <laughs> Even with a head start, you can't put up a decent fight! How much more help do I have to give you? All right, let's cut to the chase. I've got other maggots to torture, you know? I can't waste all my time with you! When I give the word, you can take all the remaining keys from the board and head for the center. Chaos rules. The fastest and greediest will get the most keys. And if a few of you maggots get trampled or killed in the rush, eh, what you gonna do? All right, maggots. Wait for it. Go!
I call on the Chosen One. Answer! Point out who is winning. They are banished immediately. Nobody likes a show-off. There's only one minute left. Face it, there's no way you can beat me. I can beat you, though. Now, where's that baseball bat? <laughs> I've played against worms that did better than you! <laughs> I'd like to say it's been fun and you all played the game well. Not going to happen, though. <laughs> I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on people like you who are game-challenged. Is there some kind of support group for that? Maybe next time. You should stick to snakes and ladders, and don't embarrass yourselves! <laughs>